Hi everyone! Do you want to know how to make a twist front pattern for a special occasion? We are in the time of the year where we make all of our occasions a special occasion and sometimes we want that perfect dress. So I'm going to show you how to make that twist front dress so you can wear it to your special occasion. Hi, I'm Aletha of Ribbons and Zippers. Thank you for stopping by. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. I am going to show you today how to create a pattern for a gorgeous twist front dress. So I've created this gorgeous pattern. This is the mock-up and I drew out the pattern on paper. So here I have this beautiful dress. It is an inspiration from a dress that I saw on, I think it was Anthropology, And I just love the two-tone design. And it actually is a twist front. So what I'm going to do is I have some gorgeous fabric and I'm going to create this dress. As you can see, it's, it's low. It's a little low plunging in the front and it goes low in the back not too low maybe midway the back uh, it has a waistline as well and as I said you can see it's two-toned so it's going to be a really nice twist front dress and as you can see here it has a slit right along the seam line so that's really nice. I like that feature. And the dress will be tapered in on the sides at the bottom. It's going to be a really nice dress. So I drew this earlier just to get an idea. So I'm going to have my drop front shoulder seam. So it's going to look like this. All right, so stick with me and I'm going to bring this dress to life. But before I go, I want to show you the fabric that I will be using. So this is the fabric. It's a beautiful fabric. It's not silk. It's a uh, polyester blend. And as, as you can see, it has the two tones. So I'm going to do it just like that. So I'm going to have the darker side and the lighter red side. And even with the darker side, you can still see a shimmer of the red that comes through. I love it. It's so pretty. So stick with me and let's make this dress come to life. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is create a nice straight line with my L square ruler. And this measurement is going to be the measurement of my nape to my hem. So from my nape to my hem is going to be this, the line that I'm going to create. That's the measurement. Okay, so next I measured down from my nape to my waist and I'm going to use my see-through ruler and I'm going to draw a line that is perpendicular at the waist mark all the way across with my see-through ruler. The next point is the measurement from my waist to my hip. And then again, with my see-through ruler, I'm just going to square over a nice straight line for my hip line perpendicular to my center front line. Okay, so my next measurement is from my waist to my knee and I'm going to add another one inch and that's going to be my hem. So I'm going to use my see-through ruler again and square over for my hem line. Okay, now I'm going to go up to the top 
and I'm going to draw in my neck and draw in my shoulder. Okay, so my next measurement is going to be my bust measurement. So that's going to be a quarter of my bust measurement plus another eighth of an inch. Normally this would be my chest measurement, but because of the design of the dress and because I'm going from my center front all the way to my side seam, I'm making it my bust measurement, which is a quarter of my bust plus another one eighth of an inch. Now let's move down to my waist. And this is a quarter of my waist plus another eighth of an inch. Next is my hip which is a measurement of my hip divided by four or a quarter of my hip plus i'm going to add another eighth of an inch for my hip as well now i want the dress to have a tapered look so i'm going to have my hem about one inch in from the same measurement of my hip so i'm just going to come in about an inch on the hem and i'm going to make that mark next i'm going to draw in my armhole and next i'm just going to go ahead and start drawing in my side seams. I don't want any sharp edges so I'm going to make sure that I use my curved ruler to smooth out the edges on the hip as well as my waistline. Okay, along the front of the dress, I'm going to have to do a slash and spread method to get the twist look. It's going to drape along the front and it's going to have the twist, but before I do the slash and the spread, I am going to go here at my waist and extend it out three inches. And then I'm going to come back and show you how that looks. Okay everyone, before I continue, I just like to ask you to please like and subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell so that you can be reminded for anything else that I do regarding special occasion wear and all of my tricks and techniques. Okay, so here's my waist adjustment. I went out three inches and I started to do my slashing on my the front of my dress from my waist but I'm going to work on the sleeve portion, which is my armhole, because I need to do the slashing on the bodice part. And notice my shoulder. I came in because I wanted my shoulder to be a little narrower, but my original shoulder width is five inches, so I'm going to keep that five inch width in order to do my slashing so let me show you i'm going to make that five inch mark and i'm going to I, my shoulder is narrow but i'm going to go out to the five inch mark with my slashes so that's what's going to create the drape look Okay, so I created a new center front line and I'm going to go ahead and slash my pattern all the way to but not through and spread out my lines. I have my notches and I'm going to slash and spread this pattern. I'm going to move the pattern down to my new center front line and I'm going to go ahead and start taping the pattern along the line.
Once I'm done taping, now I need to slash my lines all the way to the end, but don't go through. So all of this is going to be slashed and spread out evenly, and I'm going to use my scissors to cut each line. Okay, so each line is slashed and spread out to two and three quarters of an inch evenly. So I measured each line from tip to tip and it's two and three quarters of an inch and I'm going to just keep slashing and spreading and moving them out two and three quarters of an inch until it's all done and it's going to be nice and even and it's going to be a perfect slash and spread pattern. Okay, so now that I have my front done, it's time to create my back, the back of my dress. And it's simple, just like the front. I'm going to do my neckline, my shoulder, my bust, my waist, and my hips according to my measurements, the same way we always do. And then I'm going to go ahead and add my seam lines and um, make sure it matches up to my front. Here I have my patterns, my front and my back, and I did all of my adjustments. I've added my waistline for the back, which is very important. I don't want to have a full dress because it won't look right because there's a seam in the front. So, now when I put it together and twist the front, the front seam and the waist back seams will all match together. And I made all of the adjustments that I like. I narrowed my back by bringing in my armhole so that it's not too full. I created my shoulder it's nice and narrow my back is narrow everything is just like I like it so now I'm going to go ahead and lay it out cut it out and try it on and maybe I have to make some more fit adjustments but we'll see I like the way that it looks and feels it's fitting perfectly all I have to do now is just add the V in the back and I like it Okay, I am all done with my pattern and my mock-up. I have altered my dress. My fitting is perfect. My neckline is perfect. My back is perfect. There was uh, too much fabric in the back. It was bunching, so I took that out and I created a new line here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and create my V in the back, lower my back neckline, create my V and I'm done. Okay everyone, thank you so much for watching. This is just the first part of the twist front dress that you can wear to any special occasion and look awesome. So please, please come back for the next video so that we can turn our pattern into this amazing dress. Thanks for watching.